going on YouTube? Moose78 back at you with another episode of Stories from the Road. We are on episode number 9 today. Hope you're all doing well, by the way. Alright, today we are leaving out of Bakersfield, taking these ventilation shafts up to Battle Mountain, Nevada. So this should be a good run. And just real quick, what this series is, this is just my Let's Play series. I just, of course, do some in-game commentary on what's going on, but I also throw in just some random discussion. Just whatever I might find interesting uh, when I sit down to record these. In the last couple episodes, we were talking about ATS wish list stuff. Some things we might like to see in future updates, and even throughout kind of a dream uh, DLC pack. Like a 70s uh, truck pack, some old classic iconic trucks, some old classic uh, cab over Peterbelts, Kenworths, Freightliners, things like that. Of course, we'll never see that in game. At least not from SES, but we talked about it and it was a good discussion. And if you want to add to that discussion, just go ahead and leave a comment down below. Love hearing from you guys. Get all out of Bakersfield here. And if you guys haven't noticed, um, I did add the mod spreadsheet to the uh, descript video description, so be on the lookout for that. I'll update that as I add new stuff or update current mods. Right here, this is one of my favorite stretches of road in the entire game. It's just fun to hammer down and go up and down these hills real quick. Sassy. So I can worry about stopping right now. Kind of keep on trucking here.
And today's pro tip is make sure you engage the clutch all the way when shifting. Because apparently that's a thing that you have to do. Like that. All right, so this week, it's going to be a little bit of story time. A little bit of story time. Now, some of you guys have been around the channel for a while. Know that I used to cover Battlefield and FPS games. Stuff like that. And you also know that I went by the handle of Chuckwagon. And we're going to talk a little bit about how that name came to be, why I changed it, and so on and so forth. So kind of the origins of the name, it's a name that I came up with, the Chuck Wagon Handle. It's been about four years now since I kind of, what I consider, get you know, finally getting into PC gaming. I had built my first uh, gaming rig, which was pretty much a potato build. Totally, you know, economy build. Had a 560 Ti, an i5-2500, uh, which actually I still use for... Uh, Damn, that sun is bright. But I still use the uh, i5-2500 for my uh, rendering uh, rig and the other computer. But uh, one of my friends, um, once they found out that I was building a gaming PC, they're like, oh, you, you gotta get Battlefield 3, you gotta get Battlefield 3, you gotta get it, gotta get it. It's a great game, it's awesome, it's fun, you'll, you'll love it, you'll enjoy it. Okay, so, sounds cool, you know. I'm up for suggestions because I had never had a computer powerful enough to play really anything other than uh, the 18 Wheels of Steel's games. So, got the machine built and everything, and, you know, pretty much every day is like, you get Battlefield yet? Get it yet? Get it yet? No, not yet. You know, I'm still getting everything built, getting everything set up, you know. And uh, one of the first games I got was uh, Arkham City. Batman Arkham City, because I thought that game looked absolutely amazing. Turns out, of course, it was, you know, an amazing game. To this day, it's one of my favorite single-player games of all time. Past, present, whatever. Love that game. But I started to get, finally, you know, get into Battlefield a few weeks after I got the machine up and running and everything and got through uh, Arkham City. And for whatever reason, I was like, you know what? I should probably come up with a different handle for the Battlefield community because, you know, that that's hardcore stuff there, right? All the FPS stuff. And for whatever reason, I thought, you know what? Moose 78 sounds like a goofy name to go into the FPS world with. So I wanted to come up with something kind of unique. I didn't want to be all hard ass, you know, come up with a name like Thunder Dick Noob Slayer 666. Ah! <laughs> so I thought, you know, Chuck Wagon. Yeah. Yeah. That, that sounds pretty legit, right? You know, not too hard ass. Still kind of cool. So that that's kind of how the Chuck Wagon name came to be. And that's kind of how I got my start in PC gaming was in the Battlefield uh, community, and that's how the channel got started. I started covering Battlefield stuff, you know, did some stuff, a little bit of stuff in Battlefield 3. Got a lot more involved with Battlefield 4. But anyone that watches any Battlefield stuff on YouTube knows that that community is pretty well saturated. And not in a bad way. There are a lot of great uh, content creators out there in the Battlefield community. And I just kind of felt like I was kind of beating my head against the wall trying to kind of make a name for myself in that community. And plus, I just kind of got burnt out on the game. You know, I ground those games out, grinded those games out uh, pretty hard. Pretty much for the first, you know, three or three and a half years that I was in, you know, PC gaming. That's pretty much all I played about every day was, you know, Battlefield stuff. I'd mix it up every once in a while, and I'd come back to some truck sims or play some Daisy, you know, stuff like that. 
keep it a little bit fresh, but for the most part, you know, primary game, you know, was Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4. What's going on? What's happening? So the first year, you know, I pretty much stopped playing Battlefield, and for whatever reason, I just had this urge or whatever, had this feeling to, uh, like I needed to change my name, and I figured, you know what, I'm just going to go back to Moose 78 because that's a nickname I've had for, you know, forever. It's not something I came up with. It was kind of something that was given to me, so I figured, you know what, I'm just going to run with that. I thought maybe it'd be a little bit more personable, kind of make, maybe help me, you know, kind of come out, come out of my shell a little bit. I figured, eh, what have I got to lose? So I changed it back to Moose 78. And I'm going to turn the lights off. the button I was looking for. You know, that was a name, uh, the Moose 78 nickname was something that was given to me years and years ago. sure where I was going with this story and everything, but yeah, that, that's how the Chuck Wagon name came to be, and that's kind of why I kind of changed my name back to Moose 78, and kind of why I stopped doing the Battlefield content, just got burnt out on it, just got burnt out on the game. Now, by the time this video goes live, they'll hit, will have revealed the next Battlefield title, so I'm looking forward to that. But kind of one interesting thing, kind of looking back on the last few years that I've been in PC gaming, is the money that I spent making my first uh, PC build, I think I probably put around eh, $1,500, $1,700, just kind of off the top of my head, into that build overall. And that was, you know, very much a budget build. And you look at uh, PC gaming nowadays. You know, $1,500, $1,700 is going to get you a pretty damn good build. Definitely pleased that... Uh, cost to get into PC gaming has dropped drastically in the last few years. Now I'm ready to make some more upgrades and kind of do another build. It's kind of something I like tinkering with.
I actually just upgraded my power supply just a couple weeks ago. I think my original on my Corsair it was an 850. But uh, it was about ready to take a big old dump -a -roo on me. Kept just having random restarts, things like that, which ain't good. Yeah, that's right. So got that upgraded, upgraded to an EBGA 1300. Now go ahead, dude. Just, you know, go right the frick ahead. Rat bastard. But I still didn't kill it. No. This intersection is about Jinky as hell. my turn and thought I was going to roll this thing right up the hill on over. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and start to wrap this one up. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, go ahead and like and share the video. Just helps me out a bunch. If you're new to the channel, take a look around. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. Love to have you around. Hang out. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for Gameplay Wednesday. And check back in Thursday for episode number 10 of Stories from the Road. Till the next one, guys, take care. We'll be seeing you. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the icon on the outro pic. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click on the no scope icon for my affiliate link. And if you want more ATS content, click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.